Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to use this unique opportunity to uh, share IBM's experience. IBM is a company uh, which is one of the biggest uh, employers in technology fields. We are building a lot of new technologies and we would like to share our uh, thoughts, considerations and ideas with younger generation. Before I talk about our projects and the way we go about implementing them, the way we try to help today's high school students and university students, uh, before I talk about uh, general use of AI, I would like to uh, spend a few minutes talking about the challenges that we are trying to address, the risks uh, that probably we should be mindful of. I think uh, this is uh, a good foundation uh, for a presentation about any technology. There are some unique challenges and we need to understand them. We need to understand associated risks. We need to understand how we can mitigate them. This uh, is how you can build platforms, products uh, that would meet people's expectations. I want to start uh, by uh, saying something that probably has been mentioned in this forum before. In five or in ten years, we believe uh, that in five years all professions uh, that exist today would experience change. Uh, some professions uh, will be unrecognizable. There will be very many new professions that we cannot even imagine today. But we see that this rapid development of digital technologies, uh, the arrival of new fields of work, uh, means that only 35 percent of corporations believe that uh, the people uh, that they receive from universities, uh, graduates, really meet their expectations and needs. 81 percent of CEOs of international companies uh, believe uh, that uh, the biggest challenge today is to find talents uh, that are properly trained. It's about research. Now, let us look at risks that we should be mindful of. Our country is not unique. Uh, working for IBM, I can tell you that uh, people face the same challenge in Europe and in the United States and in other parts of the world. School and education system in general is not catching up, it's not uh, developing at the same rate. This year we have witnessed uh, some unusual challenges that we faced uh, when we all started using different definitions for online education. This brought about a lot of concerns. We asked a lot of questions. Why is it happening this way? As of today, we uh, do not have the ability to train online. We do not have uh, educators that have the skills. They never had the need uh, to support distant learning technologies. This is like a conveyor line. Companies, businesses are standing on one end of a conveyor and they are uh, getting a product uh, that is created all along this conveyor line. And they just have to accept what they can get off this conveyor belt. I think it's important uh, that business should uh, join efforts uh, with public authorities. Business uh, is ahead of others in the journey of digital transformation. Companies have made a lot of mistakes and they learn from them and they can now share this experience with the system of learning. We have several principles that we follow when we build educational platforms. I think it would be good if everybody follows them. We need to be customer-centric. Whatever 
we look at whatever platforms or solutions we are developing, we should uh, put the end user in the center. That's a student or a teacher or a professor. A new platform, a new uh, piece of software should start uh, from understanding the needs of that person. The second principle is openness of platforms. Uh, we are a big advocate of uh, open code software. And uh, we stand for the open architecture, which we think is essential because it would allow a platform to grow and develop. It makes it possible to connect it uh, to other resources. I would tell you something that most companies would not say openly in the past. Uh, learning was a priority. However, the way uh, those social and corporate responsibility programs were carried out were individual to every business. Today we need to be able to uh, work hand in hand and the platform that uh, we are offering is hosted by IBM, uh, but it's the result of collaboration between many companies. We need uh, to continuously uh, train the trainers. This is a huge piece of work. Digital technologies are growing at an extremely high rate. Therefore, training and retraining of teachers should be properly structured so that teachers and professors would not be behind their students, so that they don't feel uncomfortable with the new technologies around them. And uh, there is yet another matter, the last but not the least, that is uh, availability of digital content. Regardless of how much money I make, uh, me and my children uh, should be able to get access to this learning platform from many devices and get knowledge. That's what our uh, company leaders are saying. That's what uh, our president and CEO are saying. Uh, Jim uh, Whitehurst said that uh, the uh, programs of retraining for our employees, and that's something that we have a lot of experience in, uh, our employees have to stay on top of the latest technologies. This experience can be used for teachers as well. Now, uh, let me give you a very concrete example. It's always easier to uh, use a, a specific example uh, to illustrate something. We have a platform that is called Open PTAC. Uh, what this acronym uh, means is uh, Path uh, to a Technology. This program was born uh, in uh, a fairly bad neighborhood in New York uh, where not many uh, students could afford uh, to go to college. IBM uh, joined efforts with the University of New York with one of the colleges there and they created this PTAC uh, program. It was about science, engineering and mathematics. Uh, they had a, a very good system of tutoring. Uh, students who graduated from that program later uh, got jobs with IBM. Uh, they uh, brought a lot of uh, fresh ideas. This was a very good program. It has proven to be successful. It uh, is now available on all continents and uh, hundreds of IBM's business partners are doing the same. At some point in time we thought we have accumulated a lot of data uh, at PTech and uh, why don't we make them available to all? We can probably capitalize this experience. So we uh, put all this knowledge on an open digital platform and that uh, 
turned into an open PTAC, which is open to students all over the world as long as they have web access. There are several modules uh, that uh, allow anyone uh, to get training in many different subjects. Uh, even if a person does not know anything about artificial intelligence, uh, what this technology can be used for. Uh, when you go to that platform, when you sign up, you can get a course of training and learn a lot. Uh, the target for this platform is young generation, school graduates, college students. Besides, uh, we are targeting teachers and professors. Uh, when the pandemic hit, we realized that uh, very many people need help in conducting online classes. Many teachers and professors uh, need support uh, in delivering classes on AI. So we placed a lot of training courses for teachers. The platform is very flexible, it's growing, it's agile. Very many companies make contributions to this platform. It's not just IBM. We also target parents. We believe it's essential that any parent should be able to go to the same platform, uh, at least to understand uh, what their child is doing. They also can take classes. They can make their knowledge about AI more systemic. Yet another uh, target, uh, that is uh, nonprofit making organizations uh, that uh, offer training services. Uh, they are very daring. They uh, try new things, and uh, this training may be invaluable to them. If you look at the part uh, that uh, deals with AI per se, you can see that there is a basic course of training, AI foundationals. Uh, when a young man or a young woman uh, comes to the platform, he uh, or she will get an idea of this technology, what it's all about, uh, what industries use this technology. And there's a good section about ethics. When we work with students, uh, school and university students, the issue of AI ethics raises a lot of questions. Students need to understand how this is going to impact their rights and their well-being. Uh, this is covered at length. There is a course for teachers and professors, and there is access to some IBM solutions. One can try to apply the new knowledge and uh, create something like a chatbot. There are opportunities for careers as well. And the final uh, point that I want to make about this open platform is that we realize that it's important to encourage students uh, to learn. The platform uh, gives them an opportunity to uh, create their own personal roadmap of taking classes. It's up to them to decide how many uh, times a day, how many times a week they want uh, to learn. Uh, we decided uh, to launch an award uh, to further encourage students. Uh, this uh, is a system of e-badges, digital badges. This is a good uh, practice which is popular with many companies, including IBM. When someone passes a course of trading or retraining, an employee can get a digital badge, a digital credential which confirms uh, this achievement. Uh, this is something that we offered at no charge. Uh, here I am going to stop uh, talking about the platform and I would ask the organizers uh, to start a video. Education systems struggle to stay on pace. Open PTEC helps close this gap.
The platform offers free digital learning on the latest technologies, specifically designed for students and their educators. In addition to engaging and friendly online courses, students have access to industry-recognized digital badges from IBM and other partners, the same that many professionals are earning on the job. The learning topics range from professional skills, such as complex problem solving and computational thinking, to foundational skills in emerging technologies, such as cybersecurity, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and design thinking. When you earn a badge on Open p -Tech, you can easily add it to your LinkedIn profile and resume to signal to potential employers or universities that you have the baseline tech and professional skills they're looking for. Courses were designed to engage a 14 to 20 year old audience, featuring interactive self-paced learning modules, videos, and gamified assessments to spark and keep students interested. Open p -Tech offers an intuitive interface with easy navigation and works seamlessly on all devices, ensuring flexible access from anywhere that has an internet connection. The tool is available globally in English and Portuguese and will be accessible in more languages in the near future. Sign up for a free account to start building the skills you need for the jobs of tomorrow. Here's what I want to tell you in the end. Uh, such platforms, such trading can be useful to very many different uh, people with very many different needs. Uh, let me tell you about uh, one a project that IBM did together with the Higher School of Economics and with the Donors Forum. We have brought together uh, 50 young talents that wanted to learn uh, to use AI for various social projects. I think we were very successful. The only constraint in that uh, smart social project, uh, and it uh, won an award uh, this week, the only constraint was that uh, we were able to invite only 50 guys and uh, 10 uh, non-for-profit uh, organizations so that they could uh, create a product. Uh, Open uh, PTAC offers online training courses, and uh, students would be ready uh, to collaborate uh, with uh, different uh, business and uh, non uh, for profit organizations uh, in a much better way. This is great for self learners. Uh, this is good uh, way uh, to get access uh, to get ready uh, for various awards, for various uh, hackathons. In conclusion, I want to say this. We at IBM believe that uh, our products, our solutions, and uh, platforms like OpenPTAC will allow us to live on and create the future that will be good, comfortable, and fair for all of us. It would be inclusive. Educational uh, programs will answer the needs of the day, uh, the needs that we all have. And we will live comfortably. We will not fear digital technologies. We will use them to our benefit. Thank you very much. Irina. Thank you so much. This was very interesting. I uh, loved the video. Let me ask you one quick question before we uh, go over to the most interesting stuff, that is questions from the audience. We saw that uh, the platform was going to be available in different parts of the world. Uh, do you have any plans uh, to bring it to Russia? And if you do, when is it going to be available? Thank you very much. Uh, I was actually hoping to get this question. That's why I didn't focus on it during the course of the presentation. Yes, this platform is open for Russian users. As for languages, uh, we've added a lot more. It's not just English and Portuguese. It's uh, Spanish, Italian, Polish, etc. We're going to translate some of the modules into Russian. But uh, there are just a few 
things that we want you to think over, those who are about to join. If your child is seen himself or herself a successful professor, a professional in the future, the basic uh, language skills uh, uh, are a must. English skills, I mean. And the technology is changing so rapidly that uh, translating an updated version each time uh, is not making it uh, sensible. Uh, we have to be customer centric like I told you next year on the open tech platform we'll have a Russian national page uh, and uh, there'll be uh, a course uh, which I will unveil a digital economy of the Russian Federation it's called it's just uh, an introduction to yet another next big course and this introduction will give a, a very good glimpse uh, of what uh, Russian users who do not speak English can use at that particular site. Thank you, Rita. With my students, I always tell them that uh, English language is a must. And uh, English language is a must, and it's good that you're going to have this ability in AI. And uh, yet another question uh, from our users. Uh, can you tell us a story about some top results uh, working with a platform? Maybe with this uh, platform you've been able to satisfy some uh, stuffing needs. Uh, maybe uh, you've learned about uh, eagerness of the students. Actually, this platform was only launched in the beginning of the summer and we're testing it right now. So speaking about the results is possible only in the following way. We understand it's uh, 170 thousand registered users worldwide but uh, focusing just on the number of people who have joined the platform would be incorrect so we are considering also the number of active users as well uh, those uh, active individuals who are using it really for training and which courses are of the maximum interest and uh, this platform provides you some feedback capabilities when you have passed the course you can provide your feedback and say what you've been lacking or on the contrary what you've enjoyed the most uh, speaking in terms of the results i think even today i'll be ready to speak about the results for business the results for business not only in terms of the revenue but uh, for establishing right and uh, tight business connections because lots of companies have been trying to tackle this problem today we are negotiating it with coca-cola hbcu they have their own use and bound platform but it stresses differently and we're negotiating it with them about joining our platforms together so that the guys will be having just one single contact point and uh, so that they enjoy these uh, solutions together and uh, will have a broad spectrum of educational services and these projects are changing the mindset of the big business to uh, how to invest into educational programs uh, socially in the social meaning of the word how to invest and how to bring maximum benefit to all of us yes i agree with you irina thank you very much um, my niece was actually asking me about this learning platform i would be delighted to recommend your platform to her and I think I should be saying goodbye to you. It was really very interesting, the presentation, the video, the communication. I hope this platform will grow.